Hello everyone, my name is Jason Barber and I'm going to be your instructor for Physics 111 this semester. I am sitting here on January 15th and we are scheduled to get some snow tomorrow and then maybe some slush and some other yuckiness. Um, but you can see I'm wearing my Hawaiian shirt. Um, it's one of my favorite shirts and it's a little too early to be wearing it, but I'm a huge Orioles fan and I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully a better Orioles season this year. Uh, spring training will be starting in about a month. So anyway, back to physics. So I'm gonna be your instructor and I just wanted to uh, introduce you to the course and show you around a little bit. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. So let's take a look at the canvas shell for this course. Uh, you might have taken classes with AACC before or maybe you're new um, to campus and new to Canvas. So I'll just start with the basics. We have the general menu over here for all of Canvas. Uh, then you can see the course name, course number, section number. And then here is a menu that is for this course. This menu is going to vary a little bit from course to course depending on what features are available for that particular course. Uh, the main ones are the home page, which you see here, modules, announcements, and grades. Those are the ones you're going to use most of the time. On the home page, you'll see a link, well, to get to this video, so you're already there, uh, course question board. This gets you to the modules, which is the same as that, and then letting you know that we're going to have quizzes and exam, well, one exam, um, as well as quizzes on particular days and then a link for office hours. And if it comes to it, if we have to go online for, for some amount of time, then we'll use that link for our virtual classes as well. All right, over on the right, you see your to-do list, upcoming assignments with the due date, how many points they're worth, and that sort of thing. I'll also point out that if you click on account and then notifications, it will take you to a screen where you can uh, get your messages from Canvas, from like announcements, grade reports, and, and uh, notifications sent to uh, you at whatever frequency you want. Uh, you can also get them forwarded to another email. And so this is a really wonderful uh, opportunity for you to control how you get information about this course. All right. Uh, well, that's overall, actually. And then here you can click on notifications for this course. Um, so this shows up a little bit differently because I'm just in my view and I'm pretending to be a student, um, but it's going to look just slightly differently for you. All right, now let's go to modules. In here, you'll see this introductory module has information like the syllabus in here, has a little bit of information about me, um, actually required supplies that I'll be deleting that later today uh, because we're going to be doing face-to-face -face labs so you don't need any of your own supplies and some important services and that sort of thing and then we come down and we get module zero which is really another introductory module um, getting started with some of the content but also just some of the ways of doing things in the course and then we have two, after that, we have two math modules, one on algebra and one on trigonometry. Those are both optional, but having a good math background is really important. So that's something that I want you to focus on, making sure that you are prepared for the math that's in this class. Because if you're not, then that's going to make it really hard to focus on the physics. And if you can focus on the physics, you're going to be a lot more successful. And then we go module one, just a tiny little module. And then module two, our first big content module. All right, so that's the basic idea. When you're in any of these modules, you can, you can click in at any point. You can click next. Oh, I got a broken link there I need to fix. I'll take care of that. Speaking of which, if you see any broken links, tell me right away. Uh, there'll probably be some extra credit points in it for you. Just, you know. Not, not a lot, but every little bit counts, right? So let me know if you find any problems, broken links, etc. 
So generally the best way to proceed through a module, click next, and that takes you to the, the very next page that was listed and you can just keep clicking through or you can go out to the modules page and then you can scroll down and then you can jump in at any point. We were just in, let's see, right here we were in the note packet page. I could skip this and come all the way down to say quiz information and jump in and see any of that information. So that's the basic way that you navigate through the material for this course in Canvas. Um, not all the modules are published yet. I'll be publishing those as we go, making sure they have all the proper information in them. And if you have any questions at any time, please ask. All right, I look forward to meeting you all in person. Bye for now.